Portland and is going to drop a bunch of cannons and that's just not the start of the series that you're wishing for. There goes pilot number one, there goes pilot number two. Uh, does he any? Yeah, he must know. I mean... Well, he's put a pawn, his pawn and pull down, he's moving his overlord across, he sees it, he's got a drone, but this cannon rush late. is going to take place. It's yeah. way too late and already Jadong starting from a very difficult position. There is the three pylon wall. Yeah, I have cannon rushed a lot in my days. I'm not proud of it, Sean. Those are my youth sins. Uh, I'm not yeah. feeling this attack by Jadong. I don't think he should go uh, too far in. Oh. The force fields are good so far. Don't let too many hand, uh, Hydra squeeze through. Just four or five at a time. That's perfect. Yeah, great composure here from Hero. Sure, he's losing a couple of units, but he's really kept this back in at bay. He does have a few more force fields. A couple of links do slip through here. Getting close to this. Acro the Hydra Hero. remaining, but remember he does have blink. I don't think we've seen any units blink until this just very second. God in shield is up as well and he continues to warp in. Plus two attack has been stopped by the way as the forge <laughs> has been turned offline but Hero seems to be able to hold on and of course can rebuild that pile and he's going to blink forward and pick off the rest of these units. There's only a couple of Zerglings. Force fields here can be very frustrated. A huge crazy blink coming out what? from Hero there. I don't even know what that was. He blinks forward into a bunch of Zerglings <laughs> and then Force fields come around to actually try to assist these units but that was insane from Hero. That was not good, that was not worth it, and he lost a lot. And he's very, very serious about his aggression. He's just gonna do it all over again, Sean. This time there are not too many Zerglings to jump into, but more and more Hydra lists are starting to stream in. I still like this game for Hero, but uh, he's being a little over-eager. I would like to take him a small, or maybe take a chill pill, as Johan Mello likes to say, and just back off, recollect yourself. Plus two attack yeah. stalkers, a great lead for Hero, who's kind of established it from the very beginning of this game, and he's looking to close it out. And some good blink control should be able to break the forces here from Jadon to take game to one. He blinks forward once again and is going to pick off the remaining of these units slowly but surely, if not with this wave, the next one should be able to do it. Jadon trying to hold his stance and Hero looking to take map number one of this best of five. And he's looking like he's going to in a second. Yeah, and a pretty convincing matter as well. Blinding Cloud is frustrating, but Jadon, or excuse me, Heroes is going to blink forward one more time on top of the remaining Hydralis, the remaining Roaches, and there we have it. GG is called. Well, there's a lot of Roaches, and they are getting picked up slowly. There's an Immortal that's squeezed out in a second one, so maybe the Robotics Bay has been kind of cancelled in kind of Heroes' mind upon seeing the mass Roaches, which you've identified is not Ideal. Because I don't think Hydro, making Hydralisk on a bad economy if there are Colossus on the field is ever a good choice. Like, I would much rather just go ham on my Roaches. And I know Force Fields good cancel there. I know Force Fields yeah. are intimidating for Roaches, but I would still try to win this game with a Roach around whatsoever. Well, Jadon was going to lose these Roaches. He could have been maxed out on Roaches Whoa. now. Oh, these Roaches, though, they're coming into the natural. They're going to be able to snipe a Colossus here. And the Colossus trying to dance around is very low. Yeah. Actually, no, the Roaches okay. don't get it. But at the same time, here push, where exactly is it? It's having to come back, it's been recalled back. Colossus. Back call. Another Colossus, and this is the big unit damage dealer here, especially with so many Hydralis in this game. One of them goes wow, down, but Jadon. at the same time, Jadon is on the third Nexus. Man. And from what it seemed like a well-designed push coming out from Hero, Jadon goes for this counterplay, and he brings the Nexus down. He's a couple of Zerglings jumping on top of these Immortals as well. Look at these Hydralis doing work, Sean. Oh, they want to get close to these Immortals, but uh, back off. keeping them at bay here, and if he... I think Jadon should go back. I mean, I know Hydras are slow and stuff, but uh, I feel like he did so much, so well already. Most of the Colossus had died. Uh, oh, Hero's punishing him here for moving out so far with these units, and Jadon can't really escape versus these Blink Stalkers. Oh, that's a good snipe. That's a really good snipe getting this pile, and should try to get the probe as well. The probe is going to die. Not a forward blink. He has to be careful with these forward blinks. He cannot afford to lose Stalkers. He's really not that rich. He doesn't have that many. Yeah. Quite a few Roach and Hydras chasing around. Oh. But Zerglings, the counterattack is worth. He goes right into the main base. He splits to the natural as well. Excellent play here from Jadong and Hero. Caught in the middle of the map. Does he attack? Does he defend? The floodgates are open, Sean. Zergling streaming up the ramp. Slowly but steady. He kept yeah. working on his own economy. At first he looked really poor, but he became richer and richer. He's going to go in for it. He doesn't have to do this, but he feels confident enough that he's going to be able to even up the series over here, Sean. And will he be able to do that? Well, we'll find out here as Hero putting up a last stance here. He's got a lot of damage dealers with the Colossus and Immortal, but slowly but surely these units are being worn down here. Hero doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, probes, of course, so most of his supplies... Actually oh, another aggressive supply. blink here from Hero as Jadon launches his Zerglings forward to pick off three, four, five Stalkers. Oh, and Jadon's going to come around for the full surround from the right-hand side and the left. He's going to try and go all the way around oh. this army. And this looks like a pretty big surround. If he pulls this off, he I wins like the game. It. Here we go from the left. He's coming in. The force was on the right-hand side, three of them, but they're slipping through these units. The oh. Hydras on the left are going to do so much damage. Hero's push is not going to work. 
and Jadong is going to tie this series up. Excellent play from Jadong, excellent counter-attack, and the last Colossus goes down, and GG is called. And he also has plenty of units in position. This is really solid play by Hero. I kind of like how he's been doing this. Uh, Phoenix has continued to do a lot of damage here. Drones, overlords, queens, whatever they can find at this point. Oh, Zerkling is going towards the third base. As these Phoenix is going in. How much damage can Jadon do? He's a into lot. the mineral line. He needs to pull those Zerglings for sure. Uh, excuse me, uh, those probes for sure. Oh, well, Jadon just walks into the main base here. A small mistake from Hero is... Look at how many probes being picked up by these silly links. Yeah, quite a few now. I really feel that Jadon's got to start to try to take some Tate soon. He's nope. actually going to try to get those trades now, and he grabs some other shit called Great stores, by the way. Wow. Whoa, beautiful stones coming out from Hero. Is... All right, well, Zealots and Dark Templars oh, getting to these like back that. bases now. Going to pick off the uh, Spore Crawler, and it's going to come down to maybe an Overseer assisting. And I feel that this series is far from over. Oh, uh, more units really have good got hit it spot. in here, and this yeah. should not be happening as the Zerg play. Yep, uh, three Spine Crawlers is not going to be enough against these very well upgraded Zerg uh, uh, Zealots over here on the left-up side. So that Hatchery is going to Whoa. die again. A couple of Colossus being abducted there. That was a very good trade for Jadon. Wow. Uh, I don't know if he's got any Vipers with this, but that Mothership Core has to go. A uh, good storm there oh. on these Corruptors as well, man. Jadong can't get close. Jadong's running out of resources. Yeah, he's actually in, trouble. in a bit of trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble, Sean. Like you said, these Archons making it so hard for these Corruptors to get close. There goes the Mothership, but at what cost? The yeah. Storms again connect with the Corruptors. And attacks here. Hero looking like he can pick up this and actually take a lead in this series. I don't know how Jadong is supposed to survive this. Uh, there are still a couple Storms left. Oh, Jadong's going to go for this, but there's Storms, there's Archons. And GG calls, he doesn't even engage into it. Jadon's going to try and throw down his third hatchery very, very early on in this game. Yeah, he still hasn't got his uh, second base here. Oh, well, third base or whatever it is, the natural. But he just really, really wants to get his hatchery down. <laughs> and another oh pilot God. goes down here for Hero. These roaches aren't going to do anything. Uh, they, they might be able to do something. They're not going to win the game, but uh, not anything. There's still quite a few roaches, and they keep the Oracle at home. Maybe get the... Oh, oh look at that. He keeps and traps these roaches the, in. The Void Ring I, goes to work. Uh, I'd go for the Forge. I think he would have been able to get the Forge if he just starts working on it. Like, all of these roaches were in range of the Forge. Working on these cannons, I don't think yeah. it's very, very successful. Well, he's going to have a quick look at this army. He already sees Ooh. the Hydra, so there's not really too much units here. Modest for him. Be very careful. And this is a tricky position with sentries and Blink Stalkers, but Blink is ready. The first set of force yeah. fields is good, Sean. That's pretty good. He's uh, been able to trap himself back and keep away most of the Zerg. And he's got to continue to do that. He does have quite a few force fields left, but he's using five or six at a time. Jadong's starting to push through the ranks. He's getting a couple of these units. Still, 20 supply lead, but is the defense going to continue on? It should do at this point. Hero, looking to see if he can close this one up to move on to the grand finals. He can trap units coming from the south. He jumps forward. He wants to win this. He's looking to do this. And he's going to take this fight into Jadon. There's a lot of Jadon units. He's going to get the war prison from wow, behind. That's and sick. Hero actually gets pushed away from this. That's actually really sick. Sniping the war prism. And that forward blink was very, very questionable. Uh, Hero is suddenly down 30 supply. Jadon chasing these units up the ramp. And Hero over eager. Blinking forward yeah. here is. You can see Jano now oh in the pursuit. God. 11 more Hydralis on the way. That plus three attack not yet done. The robotics bay as an emergency what? structure coming in. How has this turned around? I don't know, Sean. I don't know. But I think the people over here are loving it. And I would love to see another game five. We're not there yet because that is a big zealot warp in. Yeah, big Jadon zealot has to be in. careful as well, of course, because being uh, over eager is not a very good thing to do in this game. 106 supply here. This army could get caught off. The Roach and Hydralis coming from the right hand oh. side here. And here it's going to be so carefully blinks up that ramp. And he knows that he's in a bit of trouble. Yeah. And the sandwich Jadong's waiting for that army to come down. He takes off the forge. He gets rid of that plus one armor. And plus two attack for Jadong about a complete hero in desperation. Puts that warp prism into his opponent's third base. And still, he, he can't come to defend. No, but like, hero should start going real soon. I know he's waiting for his Colossus, but he's forced to fight. There's just fighting happening all over the place now. Zealous on the left side of the map. Roaches and Hydra's here against these stalkers. But Guardian Shield, force field's going down. Hero is handling this very, very well. But uh, where is that trapped. Colossus? The stalkers have to retreat. They're going to try and blink away here. Ah, they do go to the really natural. Good. Yep, warping in a bunch of zealots on the left one side of the map. I cannot believe how well Hero handled that because he was looking at 
three locations at once, but somehow he was able to do it. It looks like Jadong's gonna try one last assault. Hero just has to hold on for one more time. There's two Colossus with a third one on the way. This is gonna be the final fight of the game as Hero looks like he's gonna be able to move on to the grand finals as he edges this attack back. A big warp in here as a lot of sentries and Zalots come to buffer up oh. and the force skills are pretty good. Hero yeah. just needs to protect the Colossus. One of them goes down, he can still work with two though and he is gonna work with two and he clears up one last assault from Jadon. GG's called and Hero.